In this video, I'll show you how to create a sales funnel with system.io step by step and also connect it to email marketing campaigns and a tag. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. After watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. All right, so by the way, I'll put the link in the description box. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up, click on your funnels, okay, which I'm there already. And all your funnels that you've created will be listed here. And so far I've created just one, all right? So let me create a new, click on create. We just have to name it. All right, so I'll name it Profitable Online Business. All right, so next is your funnel domain. By default, you're gonna have a subdomain with the email address that you sign with, .system.io, all right, which is not good because you cannot use Gmail or Yahoo. You cannot use that for email marketing. If you are just creating landing page, that's fine. But if you wanna run email marketing campaigns, I would advise you to change it. And I have a tutorial on how to connect a domain. If you don't know how, I'll drop it in the description box. I'll click here to choose my domain that I have connected already. All right. All right, so this is the domain name that I have connected already. All right, so you have four options. Build an audience, sell, custom, run an evergreen webinar. Okay, so in most cases, people will be using this. And this is what I will be using, which is obvious. So I'll click on this. And the currency, you have a US dollar, Euro, Australian dollar, and the list goes on. Okay, so I'll keep the default US dollar. Click on create. We have to choose uh, one of the templates for the website. So I will just scroll down slowly just for you to see. In my last video, I used this one. Just for you to see what you have. I'll choose this one. So select, you can preview first, but it's okay. I'm not gonna use a thank you page, so I will delete it, okay? So delete, but if you wanna use it, yeah, you can keep it, okay? Confirm, thank you page, but if in future I decide to use it, I will come back and create it. All right, so the template I selected is a squeeze page template. We have to name it, all right, so I'll name it, uh, And by the way, you are the only one who can see this. This is just for your record. So the URL path, all the sales funnels or website you'll be creating will use the same domain that you have here. So this will be like a, a subdomain or like extension pages. And I believe you have up to three sales funnels you can create with a free plan, which is what I'm using. But later on, I might have to upgrade it just to enjoy all the features. I will change the extension name or the page name because I don't want this. I decided to add the dash in between. It helps in the search engine. All right, so when it's done, click on save. All right, so you can view it, you can edit it, or you can change page template. So in this case, we just have to edit. All right, so this is it. And first thing, I'll change the background. So click on here and uh, scroll down and I can just, I have deleted the background. And if I want a specific color, I'll just come here, click on it. Let's say I want this color, all right? Then I'll keep it like that. But in this case, I don't want that, I want white. So I'll just say white, the code for white is Yeah, something like that then and i'll save it so now i'm gonna change the test here so just so it can stand out right here enter your name and email address to receive a free video training. I'll keep it like that. I don't want to change anything. And here 
I will change this. Okay, so you click here, then you click this small gear. All right, so place holder. Okay, then click on the next one. Click on the gear icon. Then inside the place holder again. So we're gonna change this to instead of send. So scroll down. So instead of send me the video training, I will say get started. I will use the same uh, color. Remember, I've copied the color already. So delete. Right click and paste. Okay, yeah. This is the color I'm looking for. Okay. Then when you're done, click on save changes. All right. So the last but not least, you need disclaimers. So I will show you. Scroll down. These are their disclaimers. We're going to create disclaimers and link it to their disclaimers. So copy. Okay. So move it down. So you can use affiliate agreement or affiliate disclaimer. So when you see the lines, that means it has copied the link already. Now, if you want to promote this on Facebook, you need a Facebook disclaimer. So we're going to copy this. Yeah, we're going to clone this. Okay. Okay, delete this. Go back and highlight everything. I'm going to paste it here. I will double click again and because this is too long. So enter. All right. And come here. Enter again. Okay. All right. This is the way it's supposed to be. Then when everything is done, click on save. All right. So now we're going to have to work on the link. So click on the link. Action when button click. So you have a send form, show pop-up, open URL, next step URL, and download file. But if you want to capture email addresses, choose send form. So I will keep it, okay? Then to the next step, if you are using thank you page, you're going to keep to the next step. But in my case, I want to send them straight to the sales page after they sign up. But if you want to keep them after they sign up to be on the same page. Normally it's for blog website and stuff like that when you have, okay, let me show you here. So let's say this is the blog website and after you're gonna have like a sign up here. So when you sign up, you still have access to read the stuff, okay? Yeah, so it's not like you sign up and this page is gone. You sign up and you are still on the page. So this is what this one is, no action. So in my case, to custom URL. Then I'm gonna go back here. So I'll copy my affiliate link, then go back here, right click, paste it, okay? And make sure you have your affiliate number or name or whatever. Enable double opt-in. You can click here. All right, so after doing all this, what you have to do next, click on save. The landing page is done. All right, so last but not least, your mobile optimization. Before we move to the next step, so I'll click on hit and scroll down. Okay, so this is what we have. And you can tell it's a little bit messy. Click, okay, so go to the corner. Click here. Okay, so this is gonna move it up. Okay, so you're gonna move it up a bit, which is good. Then the test. Uh, let's reduce the test. Then we're gonna reduce the line a bit. Okay, this is better. Or we can make it go down a bit like this. Then click on here. Reduce 
this actually it is this okay this is good all right so the rest i'll just leave it normally there's no problem with that then i'll save all right so when we go back see nothing has changed everything is still the same everything is done you can preview it this is how it's gonna look like nice and simple and the links are working okay using their link because i'm promoting their product see so this is not the url you're gonna use okay don't use this so close all right so next we're gonna move on to the next step all right so next we're gonna create email marketing campaigns and link to this sales funnel just so you can be sleeping and your system will be running and you can make money all right so hover over emails and click on campaigns click on create give it a name all right so i'll name it affiliate mkt so you can give it a description which is optional but i don't want to do that because all right so click save campaign all right so right now this is my campaign name or like a folder so you are the only one who can see this and i'm gonna create all my emails inside this all right so then i'll click on it then inside this as you can see athletes mkt all right then i'll click on add an email by default it's using my brand name which is success page if you want you can use your name so depending on which name you use to set it up all right so by default system.io will use your gmail address or your yahoo email address that you use to sign up for the first time you cannot use that to create email marketing campaigns all right it will not even allow you to do that all right so in my case i purchased my domain name and my email address from namecheap by a private email address okay this is very very important and i have tutorial on how to set it up so i'll link that in the description box okay so now i'm gonna have to name my email so let's go here so that's my subject so you have two editors you have the visual editor and the classic editor so i'll go with the classic so click create this email has been deferred we are checking the quality of this email due to an automatic alert after the check has been done all deferred messages will be delivered all right so you don't need to worry about this just continue with your stuff this is a default setup your sender email will be here and the sender name all right so now my message hi click substitute variable first name okay then you enter go back to your email so i'm using the email swipe of the campaign that i'm promoting all right so right click and paste press ctrl v i don't want you to use the mouse so ctrl v all right so everything is pasted i'm gonna push it down highlight everything all right and unbold it because i don't want it bold so i'll add the link here then i'll click on link then i'll go back copy my affiliate link go back right click paste okay if you don't like the color you can change it let's say i want uh, this color i want say blue all right but sometimes red stands out all right so i'll keep the red and i want to add all right i'm gonna add more here so click on the link right click paste okay and highlight i'll go red and you can choose to bold it this one too bold and make sure you have uh, your business email address here okay because you need that when you set up 
It's advisable not to use your home address. It's always good to use your business address. You can go to your post office and get one. But that's up to you. If you want, you can use your home address. But me, I prefer to use a business email address like post office. This is my first email. So you can attach. If you have something to attach, okay, then you choose your file. I'm not going to attach anything. So you can save and publish. You can save and continue or you can save and send a test email. So I'll save. Okay, so this is my first email. Click add. With the subject again. Subject. Copy. And paste it here. I'll use the classic editor. Create. Alright, so then I'll copy okay so the second one is short right click copy come here and remember Control v all right so i'll highlight everything on bold all right so now i need to add my link so this one and click on this i'm gonna copy my affiliate link one more time then right click paste okay and i'll change the color to red you can use any color of your choice okay you don't need to use what I'm using. Alright, so scroll down. Click here to watch the video. Bold. Red. Then I'll add the link. Control V. Or right click and paste. Alright, so now I'm done with the second email. Hi. Then substitute variables. I'll use a uh, first name again. Okay. All right, so click save. All right, so now I'm gonna edit the timing. Even though this is by default, this is right, but let's go in. So hover over this and click on uh, publish. The day should be zero and minutes. So we put minutes, so normally it takes like 10 minutes. So here we don't need to do anything because this is the first email and time when email should be sent. So you can click on it and check the time. Okay. But I don't need that. Or you can check days that the email should be sent. If you don't want Saturday and Sunday, you can take them off, but that's not a smart thing to do. So then I'll publish. Okay. So because this is done and it's live, you see the check mark now, all right? It says activate or active. So now I'm going to activate this one too. So I'll click on the publish. And this, if you want the next day or the second day, it's up to you. So I, I like to do it every other day. So I'll say the second day. Then here, what we need to choose is after the first email which is this. So this is my first email. So make sure you have that selected. Okay, so let's say if your first email is email number one, you need to choose after they subscribe to email number one, then the second one will be what you have just created. All right, so this time when email should be sent, we went through that already. So if you don't need it, don't worry, then click on publish. All right, let me check something quick. It says two minutes here, I don't know why. Oh yeah, so this should be days not minutes okay so this should be second day then you click save so it's day two it's good that i went back to check all right so when everything is done there's one more thing you have to do all right so last but not least you need to create a tag by default system.io has it in the way that when everybody signs out it goes into your contacts okay but when you have the tag it separates all your campaigns and the reason why people subscribe to that particular email let me create a tag add new tag and i'll call it affiliate marketing all right then i'll save so and the email you can create more okay as much as you want you can click here to set the auto rules but I prefer to go back here, set rules, add rules, trigger, then 
find that still form subscribe okay so click on it then choose the final this is the final and choose the final step page so this is the final step page so affiliate marketing ebook and the final name is this one so depending on the name of the funnel you have so action i want to add them to a tag what's the name of the tag it's called affiliate marketing so everybody that subscribed through affiliate marketing will go through this tag go down then you click save rules all right all right so now i'm gonna add another rule so add rule so you click on add rule and i will say when people subscribe to the campaign so when you choose that then you're gonna click here so the name of the email campaign so affiliate mkt so that's what i have chose here then you click save finally finally let's go back to the funnel view funnel this is my domain name i'll scroll down and this is how everything will look like so with this you can promote this page on Facebook, you will not get in trouble and you have disclaimers, you are good to go. And I like my landing page to be plain, okay, I don't want too much distractions. So this is the end of the tutorial, thanks for your time, please like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day.